Hello everybody and welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Multiplayer. My name is Twisted, I'm here with you one and only... Wicked! You broke my wall, asshole! Wow, that, that was a nice intro. Coming back, yeah. Today we have something very special for you and the screen tearing is real, holy shit. Whee. I don't know if you guys can see this. Whee. But there's so much screen tearing right here, it's kind of crazy. Oh, I can also see it when moving left and right. Yeah, it's, it's kind uh. of bonkers. Uh, V-Sync is off for me, so that's probably the case. Because we seen sometimes cause some problems with my recording, so I keep it turned off. Oh well, but yeah, today we are playing the beta version. Uh, the timer came out a few days ago, as you might imagine, as we mentioned in previous videos. And it's here, it's awesome. We have the timer and the logic gate. So those are two new blocks. Why are we making the... Oh, god damn it. I'm Fine. fixing the, the, the screen tearing. Actually, that's, that's, that's a good idea, because it's kind of yeah. frustrating. Yeah, this is a <laughs> lot better. Thank you, man. Alright, so we have... This is the timer block. Very, very simple. This is the logic gate block, and you place it wrong. There we go. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Finally. Oh, yeah, good. It has a little uh, picture icon the... thing. It's a little what? shield. It's, what? It's an NVIDIA shield. Yeah. W yeah, damn. And, yeah, let's... Uh, so what are we gonna do first? Timer or this thing? Let's actually use them. We can use them. Let's just first use logic gate, then, then we can incorporate the timer. Or it doesn't matter. You, you know what? Uh, let's have this thing here as a kind right. of output. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna set this guy to turn repeat. There we go. Hold on, what are you doing? You're making okay that. Okay, good. And then we need a button for that, right? So let's get a button here. Let's connect this button to the controller. And then when we push the button. This is what we know already. Yeah. Good. Now, if we placed on a timer... Oh, okay. Sorry, gonna... sorry, sorry, sorry. If we placed button. on a timer... Yeah? Uh, actually, I'm gonna remove this one. Then attach a timer. If you... You can see okay. the arrows here where, they're, where this thing is coming from. If you like, look closely. What? I'm, I'm, I'm saying that there's like an arrow on the lines. As you can see. So this thing goes from the button to the timer, and from the timer to the controller, from the controller to now, the this bearing. This is awesome, you can set, you have two bars of yeah. the timer. Yeah. The left one is for seconds, the right one is for milliseconds. Yeah. Or ticks, depends on which you choose. There's 40 ticks in one second in this game. Oh. Yeah. Yep. That's, nice. kind, of a, that's kind of a strange number, right? Is it? I mean, you're a remote technical guy here, but 40 ticks seems I strange, don't I don't know. That, that doesn't have to do with anything, just... I know, but... So. We want the game to behave. More yeah. things will obviously be more smooth. True. So I set this thing for let's say four seconds. Okay. You flip the switch. All right. This is awesome. One. This thing. Two. Three. Four. But when you turn it off, yes, it, do it doesn't take four seconds. Does it does. It? it does. It does. Let's see. It does. Do it. One. One. Two. Three. Four. Oh, because yep. I was testing with like uh. Half a minute. Really? And I think, yeah, I accidentally just placed the random slider. Okay. And it kind of got off early, but then it again, then again, it was a minute, so I was probably. What happens if we, like, hold on, if we, like, turn this on, then if we, like, change this half, is it not going through half a minute, or if it changes to, like, seven seconds? Oh, it just resets. Oh, it reset. Yeah. Okay, good to know. This is gonna take some time. Don't make it 59 seconds. All right. So we have that, that's very simple. Timer. Everyone should know what nice. a timer is. Yeah, it can go. It can go up to one minute. Exactly. Mm -hmm. If you max out both bars, and you can actually, I think you can actually chain them, right? What? You can chain these guys. Can you? I think you can. So you can have like more than one. Yeah, you can. So you can have like okay. three minutes if you want. Chain, chain them up. Yeah, yeah, I did. Uh, chain them up like two seconds each. All right. Uh, one, two. Okay, I messed up three seconds. Who cares? Fine. One. Oh, that's so freaking awesome! You can have like a ten-minute timer if you have ten of these, and it's very compact. I like that. You a can lot. have like infinite timer. With you could infinite amount of these. You could, and it's yeah. not intensive. It's not resource intensive like some other contraptions, and it doesn't make any well, noise. You don't know that yet. True, because you only have three of them. True, but it seems fairly simple. I mean, if you want to make everything seems goddamn simple. If you wanted to make here. a timer with bearings, it would be we need like fifty bearings. And 50 controllers to make it work. Okay, right. now let's switch on to the logic gate. Yes. Interface is quite awesome. So yeah. Let's, let's place two switches. Very simple. If you know how logic gates work, this can be very obvious. 
But if you don't know how logic gates work, you have like description down below. Oh, the the icon actually changes. That's actually really cool. I didn't know that. The icon okay, on the outside. Okay, so I set it to end. Obviously, when both of them are clicked, they yeah. will turn. Yeah. So and both oh, of these have to be turned on. Both I this and this needs to be turned on. Yeah, I didn't this know this. This guy turns up. That's what I just said. Oh. It's yeah. it. Uh, I mean, it lights up, and it also the icon changes depending on which gate you choose. Ooh, nice. Fancy. Hey, uh, so th there's like six logic gates, of course. Yeah, we will be using XOR a lot because that's yeah. for the doors. Yeah. So this means that if either one of these, actually no, uh, if only one of these switches is turned on, actually we'll be using when one of the inputs changes. Should it, should it be using OR? No. 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 Just me. No. Okay. okay. XOR. So if only one of them is on, it will work. None of them are on, it's not gonna work. If both of them are on, it's not gonna work. And the and inverted ones are just. Yeah, you can't explain it's wrong, but yeah, you get it. Yeah, yeah, I know. People, it, it's actually really simple once you get it. Okay, and if you want multiple inputs, yeah. that's what I was kind of hoping. If you open up the, uh, the yeah. logic gate, you, you can kind of have big interface. You can yeah, yeah, yeah. Mod stuff into it like multiple inputs, but yeah, right you, can, now, you can only have two inputs right now. Yeah, but if you want to add a third one, you can do something like this. Yes, Some, the same thing you do in real life, like this. So, yeah, they only take two inputs, but this is like three inputs technically. Yeah, kind so of. for each one more input, you add one more logic gate. Yep. So, oh shit, I didn't want to do Great that. Job, man. Uh, change them to and. All of them? Uh, I mean, they are, they are on and by default. Yeah, they are now since I messed up. But yeah, let's uh, let's go. If you have this thing... Just add a bunch of buttons. I'm going to connect to these guys. Yeah, you could. You connected so it we, wrong? We have three okay. of these guys. Okay. Uh, two of these guys. If you want to add the third one, just add this guy. We You basically cascade them just like in real life. You do with the... Uh, chips and all that. Yeah. Also, if it's if there's only one um, input, it just extends it, right? Oh, this guy shouldn't be light up. It should because there is. Oh, yeah. it, it has yeah, one input, one, one. one yeah. input, and the other one is like it just makes it uh, into an extender, I think. There we go. Yeah. Wee. Wee. Okay, so that's it. Logic gates, timer. What the, did they add? Anything else? And um, I actually didn't read the patch notes. They didn't. Uh, I can see by the position of the items. Yeah, they, we had like it. This was perfect, but I, I don't think they. I don't know if they changed anything. I didn't read the patch notes. Actually, I did, but like it was a few days ago, so I don't remember. Wow. And I read them. I actually no, I did not. Never mind. It doesn't matter. All right, so let's actually. Be here already. Doors. Yeah, let's actually change the doors. So I'm gonna place two. This guy, guys. Um, did you just burp? Maybe. <laughs> Oh my god. That's only normal. <laughs> uh, okay, remove that switch yes. on the top. Okay, I cannot see which door is which. Um, uh, this door is on, on... See where I am? Like, this... Hold on. This door okay, is over add here. Okay, add the... Uh, oh, did you add a... I added two buttons. You did. Wait, did, you, did you get the gate? Wait, I'm connecting the buttons. All right. Uh, XOR. Okay, try it out. Nice. Oh, but did you really have? Sorry. Nice. Did you really have to place it like up here? No, I just placed it where it was before. I place it anywhere. You should place it on the doors, it. right? Yeah, obviously. But no, no, because there's number four on the doors. Yeah, that that's also another obviously thing. Oh, we could place it here. Come outside. <laughs> Here. On the okay, side. yeah, I like that. Let's stitch. Oh god. Help! And inside should be. Oh shit, I should have closed the door first. Okay, you place it. I'm gonna close the door. Where should I place it? I know. Um, Here? You see me? Oh shit. Like. Here? Actually, no, let me place it one block. Nah, it's, it's fine, it's fine. Let's place it here. Uh, I don't know. I, I, yeah, it's fine. You know what? Open the door. Can I aim? I want to maybe place it like one block lower. But it's okay. 
or is it's it? It's fine. Oh, but you know what? What? If you're going out from this side, you you have to go all the way here. To yeah, that's why I wanted to place it here. Where? On, on the top. top. You know what? From the inside, place it on the top. Yeah, that, that makes more sense. Fine. All right, so that's good. Can we actually also add a sensor down there now? Yeah, we can, right? For the doors? Yeah. Uh, we could have like so. Wait, the 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 sensor would automatically open the door, or yes. So when this thing like gets in position, like we'd have a sensor. Let's say, hold on, where's the sensor? Let me get a sensor over here. I don't need berries now, I guess. So we'd have like a little sensor. Okay, place it. Hold on. I place it like over here. A sensor here, and when it reaches a block, when it reaches this, it opens up. Did Actually, said... uh, hold on, I'm gonna place it in the middle. Hold on. Like this. Set the distance to um, one. No, okay, to two. Okay, that should be fairly simple. Yeah. Should be. Yes. Um... So now the the buttons should not work. They're working. Is but the, the sensor fine? No. Uh, yeah. the sensor is fine. Yeah. Oh. You know what? I didn't connect the sensor. The buttons should work, though. I want the buttons to work. While this thing is censored. I mean, if no, no, no. But the while thing is censored, they shouldn't work. Yeah, but now if I move it away, it nothing happened. Because the buttons are still on. Oh, shit. Um, can you, yeah, it's not or. It's not or. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You could also maybe hide it a little bit better, because right now it's at the very edge. I want to move it maybe more to the inside. What? The sensor. Right now it's at the very bottom and it's visible. Hold on, I'm going to actually okay, move yeah, it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Move it inside. Actually move it a few blocks. I'm going to move it like one, two, three blocks. That means we have to have four on it. Let's have it on four. That's not mm, good. The five? No. Okay, no. good. Five. Um. Five wait a minute. This guy definitely turns it on. Yeah, it's turned on. What? The sensor is turned on. God damn it. Hmm. Is this button turned on? This button is turned on. See, that's the problem here. Shh, okay, now that ha has to be open. Yeah, I know. That's what, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, it does work. Try to press the buttons. Buttons do work. Buttons shouldn't work. The buttons do work. No, oh, now they don't. Is it open? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Oh. Okay, <laughs> now it doesn't work at all. You silly goose. Uh, you are not in the right location, hold on. Actually, you are. It's fine. It's fine. Oh. It's all right. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna quickly take my notebook. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, this is going to be simple. It's gonna be simple as soon as I remember this shit. Yeah, but um, hmm, you know what I'm thinking? Actually, maybe... Maybe it shouldn't be openable from inside. No, it shouldn't. Maybe it should be openable from outside. You know? It shouldn't be openable for all, from outside, but technically, yeah. But because if we need to get in. Yeah, that's true. So we need that still. Um. Okay. Have this thing set up. The problem is, it the second one has to be like uh, on. The second one has to, okay. The second one has oh. to be on an on an or gate. The one that opens no, the door has to be on an or gate. Yeah, 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 yeah. It what? has to be. The first one, the the switches has to go, have to go to an X to an XOR gate, and the switch that opens the, the sensor and the logic gate that connects the switches has to go to an OR gate, so that if either of them are on, it opens up. So, like this. But if I close the door, it shouldn't close, right? Yeah, yeah it um, shouldn't, because it's an on OR gate. Unless you messed up the sensor. Is yeah. the sensor at the right location? It's not connected. Oh, you removed it? No, you didn't connect it. 
But you did remove it because it was connected like before. Yeah, but you told me to move it. Well, that's that your problem. Means you could connect the sensor back again, goddammit. Well, I don't know where to connect it. You're the guy, you're the guy here. That's why nothing worked before. That explains it, yep. Yeah. Okay, now yeah. it's open. And now the button shouldn't work, that's fine. Awesome. No. Wait. This thing comes here. Good. Close it. With a button. I can't. Good day, yeah. <laughs> Open so it. But but this thing can happen. Go back. You see? It's opened. Yeah. If I move away, it's still open. Well, yeah, because you didn't close the door. Okay. I mean, there's no way to fix that. There's no way to automatically... You know what? Do we need... Uh... Could, could we actually have this... Oh, you know what? The, a timer for the switches. When you click the switch... No, that's not good. Like, maybe like a one minute timer for the switches. So that when you click... I don't know. No, 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 it's not good. Um, yeah, but I was... I have a, I was... If we have a timer down there... Is... Because uh, the doors are always gonna open whenever we come here. If we have a timer... Yeah? Will they still open if you, like, just move past it? Yeah. Hmm. But okay, no, you the know... timer resets. Because sure? look at this thing. Okay, place a sensor. So... Oh, yeah, I didn't set the time. Let's say 10 seconds. Okay. I moved past it? Oh. No, it's still, it's still on timer. I can see that. It's still going. Wait, maybe it's because it doesn't have... Let's, let's get back to the drawing board here. Let's use a sensor. Yeah, let's use a sensor. You connect it? Can I move? Uh, yep. Oh, it's rising, it's rising. Yeah. Wait, move, move, move. Maybe it won't happen. No, don't move. It's gonna happen. But it stops mm. immediately. No, it doesn't. Oh, it actually... Oh, it responds Oh, it remembers. Mod. It remembers. You know what we could do? What? Over here. Um, Just have, like, have this on a bearing. Like, this gap, as we mentioned before. And then when, when you push a button to make it go down. So there's, like, a button here. This moves down and activates the sensor and door opens automatically whenever this thing lands. If you know what I'm trying to say here. Oh, we could do that. Because that way it's you gonna be... It's not gonna what? open unless we push the button on the station. Which is what we want. Why? Because you don't want to, like, exit in the middle of nowhere. We don't want the, the gate... If this thing is not stopping in the station, we don't want to open for no reason. It It's not gonna open for... What? It's gonna open for a second. Because we go past it, it's gonna trigger the sensor. Why would you go past it? Because if... You... What, what do you mean, why would you go past it? Why would you go past the station? I don't know if, if some for some reason we don't want to stop here. Oh, so you don't want to stop? Just say it like that, goddamn. Don't complicate stuff. Just no, we're gonna put this on a bearing anyways, right? Yeah, yeah, but I didn't know what you... It's fine, we don't have to change anything. It's perfectly, perfectly fine. But yeah, we're gonna actually uh, end this video here. If you guys enjoyed this sensational episode, <laughs> please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. It helps you a good deal more than you can in the map. Yeah, once again, thank you guys very much for watching. My name has been Twisted from Hybrid Games. I've been here with the one and only Wicked, whom you forgot. And I did not. Yeah. And we will see you next timer.